Hi, I'm Alex. Hi, I'm Chris. And, and we, we are Vegan Heart to Heart. Disclaimer, none of the information shared here should be taken instead of medical advice. Please consult your doctor before making any dietary changes. Any well-planned vegan diet should include a vitamin B12 supplement. But where do you get your protein? The same place your protein gets the protein, from plants. But we need to eat meat to be healthy and strong, don't we? When you look at the strongest animals with the longest lifespan on the planet, you'll find that they are all plant eaters. Elephants, giraffes and gorillas are all pretty healthy and strong. I don't think they worry about their protein. I think I'm in good company. Um, I never looked at it that way. There is so much misinformation out there about nutrition and the proper human diet. I never knew what exactly protein is, what we need it for, and how much of it we actually need. Do you know these things? Did you ever learn about this from your parents or in school? No, not exactly. I had no idea until I did some research. I found out that the World Health Organization recommends that 5 to 10% of our total calories come from protein. That equals about 56 grams for men and 48 grams for women. And what is the role of protein in the body? The body needs protein to build, maintain and repair tissues in the body. So are you getting enough protein with your vegan food? Have you ever heard of someone being delivered to the hospital with a protein deficiency? Uh, no. Me neither. I learned that only people who do not consume any food at all, like starving children in Africa, or people with severe eating disorders can be deficient in protein. The scientific term for this condition is kwashi orko. Have you ever heard of kwashi orko before? No. I hadn't either. Nor did I ever hear of a kwashi orko specialist or hospital ward. You would think that with all this protein obsession in our culture, we would have at least heard of it. Not only do we get enough protein, we tend to get two to three times more than we actually need. Anything over 10% of our total calories has actually been linked to cancer growth. Oh wow, really? We both probably know someone or have heard of someone with heart disease, diabetes or cancer, right? Yes, these diseases are all linked to diet and lifestyle. Cultures that eat a predominantly plant-based diet have little to none of these health conditions. I never thought of that. I can give you some links to check out online and some documentaries to watch if you like. Fox Over Knives would be a great one to watch. It covers all the health aspects of a plant-based lifestyle. Okay, thanks. But vegan food doesn't contain any protein, so where exactly do you get it from? I found out that all plant foods contain protein. They contain all the amino acids our body needs to repair and build its tissues. Plant proteins have also been found to be more bioavailable than animal proteins and they don't come with all the health risks that meat comes with, like saturated fat, cholesterol, E. coli, salmonella, etc. Plants don't contain cholesterol and are instead full of fiber which animal products lack completely. They are full of vitamins and phytonutrients. The plant protein basically comes with all the nutrients our bodies need and without all the bad stuff that can make us sick. Plants also miss vital ingredients that all animal products come with which are pain, suffering and death. As long as I eat plenty of whole plant foods, I'm fine. Hmm, you don't really look deficient or sick either. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much for your open mind and for asking. I really appreciate it. There is so much confusing information out there and it's good to do your own research to be covered. Looking at long-term vegans is also very inspiring. The ones that mainly eat whole plant foods and as little vegan junk and processed foods as possible tend to be very fit and medication free well into their 80s and 90s. Thanks, I might look into this. This is all new to me though and it sounds so strange as it contradicts everything I ever grew up to believe. But I appreciate your time. From, From our hearts to yours, dare, dare to share. share. Dare to share definition. Be fearless, be brave for the animals, the planet and yourself. And subscribe, like and share our videos and images, of course. Share who you are, share your truth, ask honest questions and give honest answers. A true heart-to-heart -heart is one of the most wonderful things in life. Now smile. It's impossible to be worried when you smile.